Hey guys, Alexi here to bring you more weekly gaming news brought to you by Mega Cat Studios. Have you ever heard the quote, life is like a puzzle? It all seems a mess, but when it gets fixed, it looks awesome. Well, if not, maybe you'll understand when you try playing where cards fall. In the game, the unnamed protagonist traverses different landscapes, from forests to cities to classrooms that represent their key memories as they reminisce the events that took place in their teenage years, all the way through adulthood. Often, the ultimate goal of an area is to get from point A to point B, using card-based structures to overcome obstacles. Now that's where the challenge of translating the physicality of 3D cards onto a two-day plane comes in. You would spread decks of cards to solve challenging spatial puzzles and progress through dreamlike landscapes. It attempts to tell a story with minimalist details, but you can only draw vague inferences to the pantomime that's taking place on screen. You'll need to make your way towards the end of the level, which is represented by a solitary card, to move on towards the next one. To do so, you'll be constructing houses, platforms, and buildings of varying size and heights with stacks of cards. The basics of these puzzles would need a bit of getting used to, particularly with its fiddly controls on the Switch. But they are largely compelling brain teasers that reward your hard work with a rush of dopamine. And if all else fails, you can count on the ever-reliable hint system that will get you out of tight spots. Our next game would give us the right amount of refreshment. Off the bat, the release date is not yet known to us, but the title itself just tells you that it's going to be a hit. For starters, it's got boba. Enough said, right? It also has really cute art, and in the game, you have the ability to date demons. In Hell Boba Cafe, you'll be working at a bubble tea store at the edge of hell. The thing is, your customers comprise of a local demon population. You're going to have mysterious and spooky ingredients at your disposal to make something really tasty. Mind you, most demons have never ordered boba before, so you'll need to figure out what they'd like. You'll have to cope with demons being tricky and very cryptic in their orders. And you'll need to master conversations to do so. In summary, prepare mouth-watering boba tea, make dialogue choices, and flirt with demon customers to build new relationships. There are over 1,400 boba combinations, so get creative. Lastly is this upcoming voxel sandbox game, Teravit. It's from Cyberstep and they already have a demo for it if you want to check it out, because who doesn't love a good sandbox game, right? It's a world filled with various biomes, some plains with flowers, so that sounds promising, right? What's interesting is that the game seems to have a more direct story compared to most sandbox games. Here's the story. The Demon King came along and ruined everything by getting his servants to destroy the world's villages, then built a bunch of castles to live in, which can only mean that darkness is probably going to spread around the world. However, you've just arrived, and it's your job to try and stop that however you think is possible. There is, of course, single player and multiplayer, but you can also just play however you want because it is a sandbox. Time to go check out those games. This is Alexi. I'll see you again next week for more weekly gaming news.